Good morning, mates. Here we go. It's foggy. <laughs> so I'm not sure what the beach is doing. Let's go that way. Let's go on and have a look. Low tide is in about 30-40 minutes. Water clarity is not bad, very little weed, so it is fishable. What we're going to do is cruise south, see what we can get into. It looks like the water's been pretty high, so we need to be watching for the high tide, make sure we don't keep on the wrong side of that. That truck's parked up the dune line. You get in trouble over that, I thought. So the water has been high during, well I don't know, it doesn't look as if it's been that high, does it? It looks like it had been higher. A few days ago. Yeah. Alright mates, I'm going to keep you posted. Water clarity looks good though, let's see what we can get into. Well, if you want to practice social, uh, what's it, distancing? Distancing, this is it. <laughs> this is the place to be. There is nothing safer than fishing at the moment. Not only have you got the salinity of the Gulf of Mexico killing off any viruses and the sunlight, you've got no one here. I mean, the nearest person to me has got to be a couple of miles away. Now there's one. Watch out. I'm a socially distance. Fisherman is alright. Fly fisherman, no less. Alright, I'll keep you posted. We're at about the six. No, maybe the five. Right, okay, so much. I just wanted to kind of show you what we're fishing here. You see, there's not too many people on the beach today. But this first gut comes along, opens up into a hole right in front of us. You see that? And cuts off down here. So here's your cutoff. Opens up right in front of us. And then goes on to be a gut right there. Okay? Now Nick, he's going past that gut, past the smaller gut, and just into the wider gut, not the last set of white water you see, but just into that gut. It's a really wide gut. Let's see if we can get a little closer there. Yeah, so he's like right there into that gut, but not getting to the other side of it. So that's kind of where we are. And um, so far we've got some whiting close and far and um, two keeper reds, one far out and one right in the first gut. So you just never know. Got to just put your baits in and give it a go. That's where we are. Perfect spot. There goes Abby. Woohoo! She's having fun today. It's been a while. This really saves a lot. Let's do it. 
just want to show you what we've done here. We've taken a sand spike and added a piece on the top where we can hook. I'm going to bite that one off the The terminal tackle. And so what Nick, Nick's doing is he's baiting this up, ready to go. We've got just some cups here, really. And so take they're that. all ready to go. Let me just show you them something else. Okay. So I'm putting this on. Mm -hmm. I'm putting, uh, splitting the shrimp. I've got a fish bite. This particular rig, there's a big demand for floated pump rigs. I've never used floated pump rigs before because I thought they were a waste of time here but they seem to be working good so maybe I've been wrong. So I'll put there that there. Hang on. Take my bait elastic. Now the, the new bait elastics actually you can get them in a container that's, which makes life a bit easier. You just take that on. And that'll last ages. All right. Right. So she's hooked up. Takes me seconds. Next one comes in. It's ready to go. That's good. Oh, <laughs> That'll feed a couple people. You too. These pelicans. Can you see the bike? No. Mm -hmm. No. Beautiful water though, isn't it? Wow. I'll be out soon. So here's that loon again as we're heading off the beach. We know it's injured. So what we're gonna do, Nick is gonna try to sneak up on it. And capture it so we can take it in for the uh, arc to heal it and then let it go. Hopefully this works because he's definitely injured. Only the injuries yet. Okay, we got him. Okay, so we're, let me get the towel. Okay. Yeah. I saw her this morning, but I couldn't get her. She ran off into the surf. So I had to get up. Um, Poor thing. Yeah, just watch your beak. <laughs> that towel's hanging there. Awesome. Here she goes. Thanks so much for coming again. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank very much. Yeah. You'll What's say, the number Andrew, for the take arc? Care of her. Uh, I know. I'm going to put this on video. What's the number for the arc? I keep forgetting. I always call Andrew. I, I do too. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> we'll look it up. We'll look it up. Yeah, Not I to know. worry. I call Andrew or Alicia. So. Oh, and what's your name? <laughs> I'm Kathy. Nice to meet you, nice Kathy. To meet you. Brenda. Well, tell them I want to call Nickaloon. <laughs> Nickaloon. Nickaloon. <laughs> As we were coming in, the loon was a bit scared, so I was able to pull up this recording of loon calls, which come. Thank you.